What is up guys, my name is Sir Joshi, and here I am back with another zero tick farm, this time with the sweet berry. So all we need to do to activate this is hit this level, and basically you get your sweet berries, you go back and forth. So first you just want to plant it, <laughs> and it grows very fast, so first you just want to plant it. There we go, and now you just go back and forth holding L2. And we almost have a stack already, I know we have a stack. And I've done some testing with this design, and approximately it gets 27,000 sweet berries an hour. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that's more sweet berries than you'll ever need in your life. <laughs> but, yeah, it'll be a pretty good food source. And, um, that's basically it. Okay, this is Future Said Joshi speaking. I just wanted to add something. Actually, it's not. It cannot just be used for food. It could also be used as a defense mechanism if you're defending a village or just defending your house from mobs. It can also be used for composting uh, to get easy bone meal. And finally, if you get a butcher villager up to master level, it will buy ten sweet berries for an emerald. So with this farm, you will get 2,700 emeralds an hour. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's another thing. For this design, you will need 25 sticky pistons, one slime block, one redstone block, around 64 blocks of your choice, around half a stack of redstone dust, uh, 24 blocks of dirt, one lever, one slab of your choice, and at least 12 berries to start off with. And those will, those will be basically the last berries you'll ever gather by yourself. <laughs> so you're going to start by breaking a 3x3 three three area to the left of where you want the farm to be. So if you want to be like going back and forth over here, planting your sweet berries, you'd want it to be to the left. And when you, once you like, take two blocks down, You'll place a sticky piston, a, a sorry, yeah, a slime block and a redstone block. And actually, dig one more to the side of the redstone block. Place a block there and turn it off. And this is once again my Nintendo's design, so big thanks to him. He is insane. So, to the right of this lever, place a block and on this side on the left side of the lever you'll place a slab coming to the left and then we'll just place redstone here and redstone there then on either side you're gonna place two blocks two pieces of redstone dust so two there and two there and now, on each side, we're going to place 12 pieces of redstone dust coming backwards. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Perfect. Now, starting at the edge of this redstone dust here, you'll destroy this part, connecting these two. And you're going to go down until you reach this redstone dust. And connect that, make this big rectangle, and then just clear this first layer of blocks out. Okay, now get your uh, sticky pistons out. You'll place sticky pistons all along these blocks, and sticky pistons all along the other side. And now you'll get out your dirt, place dirt on the faces of the sticky pistons. And now to make it easier for you to stay in line when you're uh, gathering your berry bushes, you place a block there, a row of blocks behind the redstone, and then a block on top of that redstone dust there. And that is the farm done. You can add any decorations to this as you like. Let me just do some decorating of myself and we'll see what it looks like. 
So guys, I've just made a quick little design here, and remember if you're placing anything by the slime block to make it immovable, otherwise it'll be moving up and down. But let's, I'm gonna give a little test of five minutes to see how much sweet berries we get. So let's turn this thing on. I put the lever in the wrong position. Okay, wait. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Let me stop that. Okay, guys. Let me get in there. Okay, sorry. This is terrible. Don't put the. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, this. C okay. <laughs> Instead of putting the lever on this side of the block, you're going to want to put it there so that you can easily get it through the piston. Okay, yeah, let me turn that on. Off. Ah. Uh, put that there. Okay. Now, <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> turn it on. Gonna plant my sweet berries. When you're just planting them at first, you'll wanna go one at a time. Then, I'm gonna clear my inventory. And I'm gonna start a timer for five minutes. So, I'll be back once that is done. Okay, so in five minutes, we got almost a full inventory of sweet berries. Now, if you guys wanted to go fully AFK, instead of having to move back and forth all the time, you can always just um, uh, stand at one sweet berry and just hold L2. That is also pretty fast as well. Just going like this makes it slightly more efficient. And also, in PS4, uh, actually just in, in survival I mean, um, when you, you might occasionally actually eat the sweet berry. So if you want to avoid that, you'll just have to take it with an empty hand. So, yeah. But, anyway guys, this is, <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna <laughs> do the outro while I'm being tortured by this piston. This has been all for this video. I hope you enjoyed this sweet berry tutorial. Uh, if you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more farms coming in the future. Um, the next farm may or may not be a zero tick tree farm. So, <laughs> uh, be on the lookout for that and I'll see you guys later. Bye!